here at Castaway K. So today is gonna be jam packed with so many different things that we're gonna be doing. On the island, we have excursions. We are gonna be swimming with the stingrays, riding bikes, as well as we do later on have a massage planned as well, which I'm super excited for. I've never done a massage before, so it's a lot of firsts that I'm doing on this cruise. Being here in general is the first, so today is gonna be a fun, amazing day. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's go do this. One thing that I did end up forgetting is my backpack to get off the ship. So we are gonna be on the lookout for backpack. Hopefully I won't have to break the bank to get one. So we'll be on the lookout for that and hopefully we'll find something. All right, now is the time we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna go ahead and get breakfast and then get off the ship. Okay, so I'm super excited. Amanda, I think is excited. I need breakfast first before I'm excited. <laughs> It's a little bit early, so we're trying to just adapt and get used to that. So enough talking. Let's go do this I did find out that you do have to leave at that exact time for which your boarding passes or boarding group is You can't like go beyond it. Your boarding time was like us at 8 30 to 9 and you're just leaving now Which is 8 48 and you wanted to go get breakfast before and it was past that you actually can't do that because they need to have everybody go at certain times because of what's going on so that's a little bit of a bummer just because i didn't know that but we will prepare for next time and make sure to leave earlier so that way we can make sure to get breakfast we just got to make sure to plan ahead of that so right now we're looking to try to find our way off the ship Oh, make sure you guys bring your key to the world, universe, whatever they call it, with you. I ended up forgetting mine, and I had to run all the way back to the room to grab it. Make sure you're not like me, and make sure you actually bring it with you, because you do need that with you. So, of course, I somehow lost my key to the world, the universe. I am currently waiting in guest relations to hopefully get a new one. Um, and then we'll go from there. Can't believe I did that. I have no clue where I put it at. Like it just disappeared. Yep, I did. <laughs> All right, well, prices averted. They were able to print me out one. Um, I probably should have came here first just to grab it knowing myself. So we do have to wait a little bit before we can actually get off the ship. So uh, that's the only bad part, but I guess the good part about it and the twist to it is that we actually can go get breakfast before we leave. So that's the good thing. I know she's definitely happy about that. So we'll grab breakfast real quick and then be on our way off the ship. Sorry for the delay, but uh, things happen sometimes. This is the first time being on a cruise and we're just learning. So um, yeah. This is the breakfast to this morning. This is Amanda's breakfast. It's some light from the evening. That way we can get ready to get out the ship. That's actually crazy. Those are the actual safety boats just in case if the boat was like going under or something happened to it. But that's pretty cool to actually see that they test them out to see if they're working or not. But right now our boarding group did get called again. So we are about to get off the ship. I'm actually glad that we got breakfast. Everything works out for a reason. So let's go finally get off the ship, hopefully. <laughs> Now we are going to do our first excursion on the island, which is the Stingray Adventure. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the GoPro so you guys can catch that. So that is the price for the Stingray Adventure. It is $56 per adult and $45 for kids five through nine. So not too bad, so we'll see how it's worth it. My name is David, I'm a specialist. How many teeth are in here? Zero. Correct. Now Riz, do not have any teeth. But they have a hard wooden plates, how they utilize them, they cruise along the seafloor in search for their favorite shark organisms, crabs, clams, oysters, all those good things. They take them on in using a vacuum-like suction, 
They crack them open, use them the body plates, they keep the meat, and slip the shell back up. Alright? Now what do you guys do think of when you do hear the word stinger? They sting you. Stinger or bar. Correct. Show of hands, is anybody afraid of the barber stinger? Yep. <laughs> we got a few honest people in the room. Right. No need to be afraid. Nobody, okay? So what we do, we collect all of our girls and we give them a manicure. So just how we trim our fingernails, it's the same thing for the animals. It doesn't hurt the rays. It takes about three months to grow back. And we just trimmed them five months ago, okay? <laughs> we just trimmed them three weeks ago, right? So you guys can clap it up. There are no box stingers. <laughs> That was such a great experience snorkeling with the stingrays. That was such an unbelievable experience. I highly, highly recommend doing it. It's just crazy to me to see so many stingrays in one spot and you're able to just swim right up to them, feed them, touch them as well. So that was such an awesome experience. I definitely love it. Hopefully I was able to pick up some good video of it with the GoPro. But now we're gonna go on to our next adventure and then I'll pick it up from there. So we just stopped real quick in one of the shops just to grab a couple merch. Different shirts. <laughs> yeah, if you know Amanda, that shirt. <laughs> this shirt fits her. is me. <laughs> this girl has a temper. Oh my god. Alright, so we did a little bit of retail therapy. So we're gonna go around the island and just explore. I have to say that this island is just so beautiful. There is nothing like Castaway K. I mean, it's just the vibe, the energy, the music, the people, the ambiance. It's just, it's breathtaking. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, it looks like it's a scripted <laughs> backdrop. Like, it's just insane to me. But I am so happy to be here. This is such an awesome experience. Got Christmas music in the background. I'm sure you can hear that. Um, but yeah, this is a great way to spend Christmas. This is awesome. There's a little like activity center where you can play checkers, pool, play basketball. You know I'm gonna have to hit that up real quick. And you can play ping pong if you want. So if you want to kind of escape everything and just play a little competitive games. Ooh, foosball too. Oh, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, me and her have a competition with foosball. It's a wrap. But that's pretty cool that they have that. I had to come over here and shoot some shots, so I'm gonna show y'all really what happens when I shoot. Kobe. So after that 50 millionth time of trying to get that sh one shot, uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and move on to the next thing, which is gonna be Serenity Beach, which is an 18 plus beach where you can eat lunch at. And then from there, we're gonna do biking because I wanna definitely get that, have enough time to do that before we have to go back on the ship because I just wanna explore while biking. So that's what we're moving to next. And we ended up doing more shopping therapy. Well, I'm doing all the therapy shopping here. <laughs> but 
I like to support the locals here as well. Um, make sure when you do come on the island, there is some Bahamian retail um, store fronts here as well. I know we all love to get Disney stuff as well, but support them, help them out. It has some really good options to be able to get if you want to get some Bahamian themed clothes. <laughs> so yeah. All right, so we are on our way to Serenity Bay to get some food for a little bit. We're on the little tram that they have on here. It's so awesome. It's just open air and you can see all the beautiful views of the beach or the island rather. to get some barbecue lunch. I believe that's what they have here. Barbecue menu with hamburgers, hot dog, cold pork, different things like that. One thing I did notice um, that first time on a cruise is that they really make it easy for you to forget how much money you're spending because everything is on your actual stateroom. They obviously will tell you exactly how much it is before they charge it, um, but you can get a little bit lost in the sauce and just be swiping and just tapping that card. So definitely pay attention to that because it does add up. Just keep that in mind when you come here yourself. I know you already know that, but I just thought that was an interesting thing to look at. I got corn, I got some vegetarian uh, chili, and rest in peace to Amanda, because you can know if you know. <laughs> uh, potato salad, but they had so many more options. This is basically anything barbecue you can think of you can get here, but I want to go ahead and dig into this, and I'll catch up with you guys once we're done with that. All right, so lunch was amazing. Had a really good lunch. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and do the bike ride. If you want, you can continue going forward, take your right, left. This here is where we rent bicycles on the other side. Mm -hmm. And that's the farthest you can go with the bike. Awesome. Okay. You can leave your bikes on that rental location or you can turn around and bring them back here. Yes. Awesome. So we just made it to the first stop with the bikes and I have to say this is one of the most amazing views I have seen ever. <laughs> like look at this guys. It is just so beautiful. Such a perfect day. This island is just something special. It really is. Did not ask for anything better. I couldn't. The day is not even over yet. So it's just, it blows my mind. It honestly blows my mind. I'm so blessed to be here. It just makes it, it makes everything worth it. You know, this is what life is about. These experiences and seeing new things like this and experiencing new things like this is what life is about. This is what I believe my purpose is, what our, all of our purposes are, is just to experience life in different ways, in ways that we've never thought that we could, you know? I mean, I would never think that I'd be able to go on a Disney cruise, if that, and then to be on a private island owned by Disney. I mean, it's just, it's insane. I just can't put into words how blessed and how grateful I am to be here. It is amazing. I will be for sure back here. I'm letting you guys know that you will see more vlogs of me being here. This is such an incredible experience, such an incredible place, and I'm just so happy to be a part of it and be able to say I did it. But that's enough for that inspirational rant. I am going to go ahead and get going because I know Amanda's probably in the back cooking right now. <laughs> so we gotta get going because we have other things we're doing. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Come on.
Perfect, exactly what I needed. You need some help, ma'am? You push it. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You drink. Oh my God. Take a shot of water. She has a problem with drinking water. I don't know why. She can't just drink a full thing of water. Places like this, you need to drink water all the time. But I digress. Let's get going. That is so awesome to be that high up and be able to get that vantage point of the island. It is a really good spot to go. So if you can ride bikes and you want to do that, definitely do it because it's worth seeing that. Oh, another pro tip. They do sell reusable plastic bags, but I definitely would recommend if you have a lot of stuff and it's only two of you to get one of those. Um, reason being is because you can actually use that and put that on your shoulder. So what I was doing, as you can see right here, is I would take the bag and I would actually I put it around the shoulder so it makes it more mobile, easy to carry. That way you don't have a whole bunch of stuff in your hand which made it a lot easier to ride the bikes. That was a fun, nice little adventure. I would say each path was like seven or eight minutes to go. We were going like normal to every once in a while, as you saw, we were going pretty fast, but we weren't going too, too fast, but it took about like seven or eight minutes. And if you were wondering how the terrain is, it was very flat for the most part. I was able to sit down completely with a bag on my shoulder while recording with the GoPro, but I was able to have all that and sit down and comfortably pedal the bike. So if you were curious about that, it is a pretty easy easy bike path. Now we are going to get ready to get on the tram and then we are going to head out to the water side. I definitely want to, we're both going to try to, I know I am, but I'm going to try to get her to go on the water side. She doesn't like water slides, roller coasters, you name it. Um, but we're going to get on that and uh, go from there. Definitely want to go ahead and experience that. So we're gonna go ahead and go on the slide. She's coming too. No, I'm not. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, guys. I'll get her on it. No, nope, not happening. was super fun. Uh, it was, goes a lot faster than I was expecting it to go because when you look at it from afar, it doesn't look like that crazy of a slide, but it is very fast, fair warning. The one on the right hand side is fast, but it's not like the other one on the left hand side, which goes super fast. Like I shot right out of that thing. Amanda was saying that when she saw me come out, she thought I was gonna have to get rescued how fast I came out. If you can't swim or you're not a good swimmer, I would suggest skipping it just because you are getting shot out of a, of, of a fast um, slide and you, could, you do have to end up swimming back to shore in order to get out of the water. You do have lifeguards on duty as well, so if something does happen, God forbid, you can get saved. But yeah, overall, it was very fun. It's definitely a must do if you're on the island and you love swimming and you love going down water slides, so.
<laughs> you guys are a great team though. That's what's all that matters. Look at it. Still no way with you. Yes, ah, I hey. like it. <laughs> so what's gonna be your Thank you. <laughs> you filming? Yes. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, man. You guys have a good one. Thank you. That is that is awesome. It is so worth it. It is amazing. These people here are beyond amazing. I'm telling you. That man went all over the entire island. I'm not even joking. Every bar on the island to try to catch a try to get these souvenir cups for us. Like it's it's crazy it's crazy we didn't even ask him he just did it himself he just said you know what no I'll stay here i'll be right back and he went all across took golf carts walked whatever he needed to do took carriage <laughs> took a jet like the man <laughs> went everywhere to find these souvenir cups that we wanted and i mean it just speaks to the level of just service that these crew members do for us like it's insane it's insane I, i'm just blown away <laughs> and they filled it up, refilled our oh, drinks. Oh yes, yes, the and and refilled it too, it. <laughs> and refilled it too. So, I mean, it's just it's it's amazing. It's amazing, guys. Like, I'm telling you, if you can, I was we were talking to a lovely couple. Um, they did say they were going to subscribe. So if you do see this video, you guys are awesome as well. They gave me great advice as far as um, you know where to take the vlog. They helped us out as well because they actually helped him find where they were, which is awesome as well. But it's just uh, it's it's been awesome. It's been such an amazing time my expectations are set high because of what I'm on here and right now heading back to the ship um, just because we need to get washed up and changed um, and get ready for the massages that we have scheduled for today we have dinner tonight and then we have Beauty and the Beast show yes so and fireworks. oh and fireworks so it is jam-packed you know I thought when we were going on the cruise like I said before that there wasn't really things to do it was just more about relaxation which it is there's a lot of that as well there is so much to do so much to do so much to see we didn't even do half of what we were supposed to do today we we're supposed to go snorkeling but we ended up just running into those awesome people and awesome crew members and just struck up a conversation and just were talking to them so sometimes don't always stick to the plan sometimes deviate from it and just enjoy it enjoy where it takes you because you never know like we would have never got these lovely souvenirs that now are more memorable because every time we look at it we're gonna think of a crew member who ran across the entire <laughs> island to get it for us so that's pretty awesome I love this island love this place it's just really amazing That's it from Castaway K. Ugh, I am sad to be leaving here. But like Disney says, I will see you real soon. You have to do what you have to do. We have to move on to better things and more fun things as well. And I will definitely be back. This is not a goodbye forever. I will for sure be back here. I am super happy I did this. So impressed by this island. I'm just so happy. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.